what makes the difference between a efficient and productive quarry or plant or operation and one that maybe isn't as much? What's the difference? Well, the metric that's used for that in the aggregate industry is tons per man hour. That'll tell you how efficient you are with your labor, what your plant efficiency is to the uptime compared to the downtime. Tons per man hour at a very high level can be identified by uh, your boss, your boss's boss, so on and so forth. They can target and say, why aren't we doing better there? Why are we doing good there? So it gives them that metric to determine at a glance what, what may be going on there? We need to do a deeper dive and, and identify what those issues may be. But it really comes down to tons per man hour, which leads directly into cost per ton. Tons per man hour, is that a pretty industry standard number? Like if I were to open up a shop, get my land, get my plant, start making things, and then I went and compared that to colleagues around the state or around the country, around the world? Is that a pretty common metric? In terms of people tend to come in about the same level? It is the metric in the industry to be measured by from a person running a loader to the person running that plant to the person managing the site. Everything is predicated off of those tons per man hour. And it directly feeds into how efficient you are, but directly feeds into your cost per ton. How are we gonna minimize those costs, maximize our revenue, generate a quality product, and make sure we're gonna get paid for everything we put through that plant, putting that pile and putting that truck and deliver to our customers.